In this video, I'll show you how to use Gates Crypto Arbitrage Bot, exactly what the bot is doing under the surface to try and earn yields for us, and then how to go ahead and actually open a position with it. So what we'll do is come to Trade, and then Bots. If you don't have a Gates account yet, I'll leave a link below. You can sign up with that link and get a trading bonus if you're a new user. I'll also leave a beginner's guide to Gates as well, if you need to know how to get set up on the platform and get money in and out and everything like that. All of that will be down in the description below. But once you're in the bots, I think you need to expand it and then come to Spot Futures Arbitrage. Click this and it takes us through to the spot trading page. And then on the right hand side is where we actually edit the bot. So if you can't find it, for example, if I'm in the spot trading feature here, you just wanna to go to the right hand side, click bots here. And then you need to scroll down uh, and find the spot futures arbitrage like this. And then we can go to customize and we can choose all of the parameters of the bot. What exactly is this bot doing under the surface to earn yields for us? Well, it's carrying out for us very easily a delta neutral trading strategy. This is a very common strategy and it's used across different crypto platforms. There are projects specifically that carry out this trade and it does one thing in particular and so I'll explain it and some of the considerations that you'll need to know about before getting into the bot. So essentially what it's trying to do is take advantage of crypto futures funding. So it's known as a spot futures arbitrage bot and it's trying to create a position where we don't have any or very little exposure to price movements in the assets that we're trading. So we're trying to completely negate price movements and then earn yield from futures funding. And so how do we go ahead and do that? Well, what happens is we go and trade a crypto. Now it doesn't matter which crypto that we're trading because the trade is supposed to net out a long position and a short position. And so it doesn't really matter what crypto asset it is or where it moves. We're just trying to create a delta neutral position. So basically, we don't want any price movement. And we're just trying to cream off the funding rates. So what we go ahead and do is we use our money or our crypto USDT in this case, to take a position in the spot market. So we go ahead and buy the crypto asset. And let's say we buy one unit. Now, if we just buy the crypto asset, one unit, what we're doing is taking a long position in the asset and we have full 100% price exposure, right? So the price goes up or the price goes down. We don't want that, right? Because what we're looking for is just earning a yield on our dollars, basically. So what we do on the other side of that is take a corresponding short position in the futures market. So one long, one short. The futures market is something that we can use, you know, just throughout this bot, so we don't even need to know really what it's, what's happening, but you can go to the futures market, which is a derivatives market, and you can take a synthetic short position in the asset, which means you actually can uh, benefit from the price going down. So you're not selling the asset, but you're taking a derivatives trade where the price, where the, where, where the trade actually benefits from the price coming down. So what that does is essentially net out our position. So we're long one unit and we're short one unit. And so basically, if the price moves up or down, then both sides counteract each other, right? So if the price moves up, the long will win and the short will lose. And if the price moves down, the long will lose, but the short will win. And hopefully, what that should do is create a delta neutral position, meaning we have virtually no price exposure, right? What we're trying to do on the short side of the trade is that in crypto futures, uh, there is this thing called the funding fee that is paid and that's because the futures price has to be kept in line with the spot price. And so that is a thing for crypto futures. You have this funding. Now, most of the time, what we want is a positive funding rate. The reason being is that that funding rate, if it's positive, actually gets paid from long positions to short positions. And because we have a short position in the futures market, we get paid that funding fee. So that's what we want to do. We create a delta neutral position with the bot right here, and we go long one, short one. And so hopefully we have a delta neutral position that isn't affected by, by price movements, but we are creaming off this funding rate, whatever it may be. And that's how the bot works and that how that's how it pays its yield. This is a very common strategy. It's a hedge fund type strategy, but it's used all across crypto and in other futures markets. Uh, crypto is the best for it because it has perpetual futures, meaning there's no expiry on this, which is good because you need that for the funding fee. Otherwise, uh, in expiry futures, you don't have funding fees. So we have this funding fee, and this can change over time depending on the asset and the supply and demand for it over time. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're investing dollars, 
and we're trying to take a delta neutral position and creaming the funding fee off. What are the risks of this bot before actually getting involved in opening a position? There are three of them. So the first one is centralized exchange risk, putting your money on a centralized exchange. Very minimal for Gates, they've been around a long time uh, and been through multiple bear markets, but it is a risk we have to consider. The other one is just underperformance of just going long assets. Uh, although you may have a portfolio where you're long assets anyway, and so you are looking for some yield and income, right? So that's part of portfolio building. So if we go to the contract here, we'll look at the Bitcoin USDT pair. So I search Bitcoin, you can see that the yield for this funding arbitrage is let's say 5%. That's gonna vastly underperform just buying Bitcoin during a bull market where it could go up multiples, you know, hundreds of percent, right? So you're gonna underperform there. However, this is part of your yield and income that you want. So um, that's up to the individual. The third and kind of biggest risk here is funding rate risk. So what we're doing is carrying out a positive carry trade, which means that we are earning the funding rate by going short. So we're short in futures, earning funding rates. You earn the funding rate from longs. The reason why shorts uh, are getting paid this rate is because the price probably is going up a lot and there's a lot of people coming in, uh, pushing the price up, going long. Now we're earning that funding rate because too many people are long and they're having to pay that funding rate to us. Think of it as a fee to disincentivize longs and incentivize shorts to come in and actually bring the price back down. So we're earning that fee. However, the fee in futures can flip to actually be negative as well, which means that there are too many shorts and they want to incentivize longs to come in. So we as the short seller actually pay that funding. Now that is the biggest risk to this because we don't wanna be paying any money out, right? We wanna be earning that money. And so that's the biggest risk that you have to be aware of. The way to get around that is to just manage uh, the, the portfolio and manage the position. So if you see that funding rates aren't positive and they're negative, you can say to yourself, are they gonna to switch to positive again? If so, I'll just stay in the position for a while. And as long as funding rates are mostly positive, we'll be earning a yield. If they're negative and consistently negative, then you have to get out of that position because it's not working for you and then go into another asset pair uh, that is going to be paying a positive, uh, positive carry, right? So you do have to you know, manage this as well and make sure that uh, the funding rates are in your favor uh, because they can change. So I think that's the biggest risk of this strategy. Now I'll show you how to open a position with the bot. So firstly, we need to choose the contract that we're trading. So like I said, it shouldn't matter which coin that we're trading because we should be delta neutral in that trade. We just want the one with the highest yield that we're, we're wanting to get out of the bot. Now, the higher the yield, the more likelihood that that yield is going to be very volatile. So it's gonna be very high for a while and then probably it will drop off quite quickly. So you do have to manage this or at least look at your position over time to make sure that you know, you're not getting into negative funding. Altcoins that are very low in market cap can have very wild swings in uh, the funding rates. And so you have to manage those more actively. If you're looking at bigger coins, it's probable that the uh, funding rates uh, won't be as high, but they'll be more reliable in one direction or another as well. So what I'm gonna do is just choose a, uh, a bigger coin. I'll just go for BTC as an example here, even though the funding rate is very low. Uh, so we'll choose that one. And then it says leverage here and how much do you want to use? So 1x leverage is no leverage at all. And then 2 and 3x leverage. This just means if you've got an amount of money, what they're going to do is take leverage in the futures side of the trade uh, so that they can put less cash down in the trade, but open up the position size that is necessary. The reason is, let's say you've got $1,000 and you need to take a delta neutral trade. Well, you have $500 long, $500 short, right? But in the futures market, you can take leverage, meaning that you can open a $500 position with 2x leverage. You only have to put $250 down to fund that position. So $250 in to fund the position, $500 position, because you're using 2x leverage. 2x leverage on your cash, up to $500 position. What that allows is you to put less, less cash down in the short side of the trade, and that gives you more cash to put in the long side of the trade. And so you can balance this out essentially where you're using your capital more efficiently because you are putting less down on the short side, even though the position size is the same, you're putting less cash down. That allows you to take a higher uh, amount of cash position in the long side, and that can put up the short position as well. So you're just opening a larger size trade thanks to a little bit of leverage. Some of the downside here is that if the short position moves violently, so it goes up a lot, you could get stopped out of the uh, short side of the trade and the bot would actually finish. Uh, so that's not necessarily terrible because as I said, delta neutral, so it shouldn't matter. Um, but the short side may get stopped out, which means the bot actually comes out and you're not earning any yield from it again. If you're using 1x leverage, it shouldn't matter that much. 
so let's use 2x leverage for BTC. We're not uh, expecting a crazy volatile move to the upside that would uh, uh, kind of take out a short position. Uh, now what we have is the amount that we want to put in. So let's put you know, 100 in like this. So available, this is it. If you want to transfer in some uh, USDT from your funding account or anything, you just do it here. Uh, like I said, the beginner's guide will go through all of that if you don't know how to do it. Funding rate is positive right now, so we're earning this estimated APR. So you can go ahead and create this bot. We'll just uh, agree to the terms and conditions like this. Press confirm, and that's it, completed. So we now have that bot running. And um, what that should do for us right here, as you can see, we've got the BTC bot. Uh, that's the amount invested. And then what we're doing is that whenever the uh, funding rate exchanges hands, that may be every few hours or so, you should be creaming off that funding rate. Now, as long as the funding rate is positive, that's all good. It can go negative and maybe dip negative for one funding rate or two funding rates, maybe every few hours. That's fine. We just need to know that in general, the funding rate is positive and we're creaming uh, that arbitrage off the top. I'll leave some other videos on crypto arbitrage strategies down in the description, plus the gate link and some of the other exchanges I use. You can get deposit and trading bonuses on those. I'm James, this is Manazin G. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.